In this episode, we're going to modify a Bluetooth speaker to give it wireless charging capability. Just put it on top of the wireless charger and it charges, no plugging in. Here we have my cheapy Bluetooth speaker. Nothing special, sound is pretty average. Um, However, it does annoy me the fact that uh, you have to charge it with this, not even micro USB, but the, the bigger mini USB. Um, so if I don't have the right charge cable, I can't even use my phone cable to charge it. So it got me thinking, if I could charge it on one of these things and just put it on top and charge it, it'd be incredibly handy. And I had one of these... Um, phone covers that you put onto your phone and then you can wirelessly charge for my old phone and I took out the the little charging coil the receiver coil I took it out of the back of the cover and I'm thinking this is very easy should be quite easy to mount somewhere in the back here somewhere if there's space just mounted so that I could simply um, uh, just take that put it on top of that make sure I connect it possibly I don't know I'll have to look inside uh, to the um, yeah to the USB port or somewhere near the battery so that I can charge it wirelessly and it'll make it a lot more handy so because I've got a few of these wireless chargers and um, I might even use this as a sort of makeshift Google Home with an old smartphone connected to it um, like an Alexa type thing smart speaker now I'm thinking that if this grill looks like it should just unclip and I can just about see screws underneath there so I just pop the grill off and it liberates the screws and that should be the secret in opening this thing I've um, managed to just pop this one side off using one of these uh, phone opening tools and um, it kind of reveals the, the screws over there Got these two driver speakers here and what looks like a passive radiator I don't really mind messing about with the speaker because it's not really that great but it's useful and it will be even more useful if I can wirelessly charge it What secrets will it reveal? Right, let's have a look. Okay. Not much to it really. What looks like a little driver board there, amplifier board, and um, a little Bluetooth receiver um, module circuit board there and I think we might have enough space to stick this in the back cover here somewhere I would say probably there could be a good spot perhaps somewhere there so what I think we've got as an option is we have here uh, we have the negative on the USB and there's the 5 volt plus so this is the ground and it looks like that ground and the main chassis connector ground is connected together so we don't have to try and connect it there we can connect the negative to there anywhere here on the metal and you just have to pick up the positive from that little pin there and um, it looks like we can just about connect them on there so if we zoom in a bit, so I can show you. Going a bit of shot there. It should be just about visible there. That's the negative, that's the positive. And I can probe it there to prove it. We get 4.9, pretty much five volt. So, that turned out to be 
a bit of a failure. This um, charging pickup coil I glued onto this little bit of plastic because when I tried to put it in there, because this is curved, it meant that when I tried to put it onto the inductive charging pad, the, the wireless charging pad, um, it, the distance was too great and it would either work intermittently or not work at all. So, change of plans. I think what we're going to have to do is uh, either give up, which I don't think is an option, but I think I've got a solution. Um, this never had a real stand. You either had to put it flat down like that, or you had to use this little coin thing. And I think the idea was if you lost this, you could just use a regular coin. And it would shove in the back there, and that, that is its stand, and it stands up. But I'm thinking, instead of using this coin, if we could somehow take some of these headers, socket headers, build them into there, to that little slot, then we can make the wireless charger unpluggable, make it into a nice little bar that plugs in, and that could be the stand that holds the speaker up. So if it's standing on its stand, it can stand on top of the, the wireless charger, the QI charger, and uh, charge wirelessly and you can leave the stand attached if you want or if you wanted to compl even more mobile the stand could just unplug the trick is to make it all fit quite neatly and to make it look pretty so I'm gonna have this little box I already shaved it off in a sort of slight angle so that it could fit neatly like that so if I paint it matte black sand it nicely it should look rather nice in theory and um, the aim is to get it look like it was made in the factory. The Bluetooth speaker is now complete. This was the original stand. I've put this little header socket pins in there where the stand used to slot in. Stupid thing. I suppose you could have viewed a coin if you lose this. Now this is the finished inductive charger which doubles up as a stand and this should in theory just plug in like that it then sits on top of the speaker and the speaker can then wirelessly charge red light indicate that it's charging I was forced to do this but in the end it worked out better this way because um, what's the point in trying to put it in there, which I couldn't do because of the curve, it lifted it up too much from there. But uh, now I've got a stand as well that's actually usable, because before I would have to lay it down like that, and then I couldn't really use it as a speaker, but now it can be used as a speaker while charging permanently, standing on its stand. So it's a win-win situation for me. I'm quite happy with the results. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty nice.